Hi students, it's me teacher Rajati. Today I'm sharing about unit 8, acid and alkaline. This is a science year 3. Let's be look at intro. There are substances around us that have acidic, alkaline and neutral properties. The properties of these substances can be tested using litmus paper. Litmus paper is an indicator that changes color when tested. Again, there are three main substances around us. There are acidic, alkaline and neutral. What are the learning standards in acid and alkaline? There are three learning standards. 8.1.1, 8.1.2 and 8.1.3. These are the learning standards I'm going to sharing with you all on today. Let's we look one by one. 8.1.1. Test acidic, alkaline and neutral substances through changes in color litmus paper. Do you know what is the litmus paper? Litmus paper is an indicator to define what is the acidic and alkaline and neutral substances. Litmus paper comes in two forms, red and blue. When blue litmus is placed in a solution that is acidic below pH 7, the litmus paper, that means the blue litmus paper, turns red. When red litmus paper is placed into a solution that is alkaline, the red litmus paper changes to blue. If blue litmus paper stay blue, that means neutral solution. The same thing to the red litmus paper stays red, that also neutral. So here I want to summarize that. You have to know that blue litmus paper is used to define for the alkaline substances and the red litmus paper used to define for the acidic substances. Let's say the blue litmus paper change color into the red. It means it's alkaline substances. Let's say red litmus paper changes color into the blue. It means alkaline acidic substances. If there is no changes to the blue or red litmus paper, it means it is a neutral substances. Litmus paper substitute. Let's say you don't have the litmus paper at your school or at around you. You may use the substitute to investigate whether it's an acidic or alkaline substances. Here are the three samples of the or extract to be used to define or tested acidic or alkaline substances. The first one, purple cabbage extract. The second one is hibiscus extract. And the third one is turmeric extract. Let's we look at the let's answer column. Number one, which tested extract is only affected by alkaline? It means the abstract or the extract should be acidic properties. It means we have to use the hibiscus extract. The hibiscus extract only will be used to define the acidic substrate. Number two, are turmeric, purple cabbage and hibiscus extracts suitable to be used as indicators for the properties of acidic and alkaline substances? Yes, because these are the three substances or the extract to be used as the litmus paper substitutes. This is an extra point for you all. That is the neutralization information. Okay, what does it mean by the neutralization? This is a formula used to be in the neutralization. Acid plus with alkaline is will be formed salt and water. Salt and water. This is what we call the neutralization process. This is 8.1.1. Let's we look at 
8.1.2 make generalization on acetic, alkaline and neutral substances through taste and touch by testing a few substances. You will look at the properties of acetic and alkaline. Acetic and alkaline have the different properties because we can identify which is the acetic and alkaline substances very easily. First, we look at acetic. Acetic have the taste sour. Turn the pH value pepper to the red. pH value of 0 to 6. Acetic feel like water. It can be caustic. Foods like fruits, vinegar, soda and yogurt. Conduct electricity, react with metals. Let's look at the acetic properties. Alkaline. Taste bitter. Turns pH pepper to blue. That means litmus pepper to blue. pH value is 8 to 14. Feel slippery. Can be caustic. Ammonia, soap, pickles, Conduct electricity. Do not react with metals. When you compare with the acetic and bases, there are similarities between acetic and bases that um, can be caustic and also conduct electricity. And the differences are the taste, pH value, and the color changes in the litmus, pepper, and also the feel, that means the touch. And also the sample substances, there are the foods are be used to be tested into acetic and alkaline. When the litmus paper goes to change more red is mean acetic. If there's a more to the purple, it mean alkaline. This is 8.1.2. Let me go to the learning center of 8.1.3. Okay, 8.1.3, explore other materials to test acetic, alkaline and neutral substances. These are the sample foods or substances I'll be to use to know this is acetic or alkaline. pH 3, carbonated water, pH 4, popcorn, pH 5, most purified water, pH 6 is the fruit juices, pH 7 is the neutral. PA7 mostly is the tap water, which is the drinking water we usually drink. That is the neutral. PH8 is goes to the alkaline apples, almonds, tomatoes, and the grapefruit, and so on. PH9, avocado, green tea, and so on. PH10, spinach, broccoli, and so on. These are the substances to be tested for the acidic, alkaline, and neutral. This is the acid or alkali. The strength of an acid or alkali is a measure by the pH scale. Universal indicator can tell you the pH of a solution as each color has a separate pH value. If there is a stronger acid, that will show the color is more to the reddish. If that stronger alkaline is shown to the purple. These are the sample universal indicator. Very acidic is sample is stomach acid. Yes, that's a very acidic. And a very alkaline is a drain cleaner. Now, let's we go to the think. You have to think and answer for the questions as display on the screen. Why does toothpaste have alkaline properties? Yes, the answer is toothpaste is alkaline. In order to neutralize this acidic effect, we brush our teeth with toothpaste. Since it is used for neutralizing acids, a toothpaste can never be acidic. It is a basic or alkaline. And the second one is guess who am I? I yes you have to guess it okay I have a give you there are three substances and also the properties of the substances you have to guess where it is is a neutral acidic or alkaline number one pH more than seven 
The taste is a bitter. It's a change the litmus paper red to blue. Feel slippery. O M I. Yeah, that's right. It's very simple. When you know that is a pH level is a more than seven, that is an alkaline. Number two, pH less than seven, sour taste. That will be change the color. Blue pepper goes to blue to red. Feel wet. That means watery. O M I. That's right. That is acidic. And the three. pH equal to 7 no taste no changes in litmus paper no feel who am i that's right it is a neutral substances next we go to questioning and answer session number 1 what happens to litmus paper in acidic solution it's a very simple is talking about the changes in color that is, when we want to use the acidic solution, it must be in acidic solution, it will be changed to blue color. Because we are using red litmus paper to test acidic solution. What pH is neutral? pH equal to 7. Number 3. What color does pH turn when added to an alkali? Yes, that's correct. Alkaline pH is more than 7. That is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. And the question number 4. What happens to the pH of an acid during neutralization? Neutralization is acid plus alkaline that will be formed salt and water. That means there is no changes in pH. The pH will become equal to 7. That is the meaning of the neutralization. This is an example video you can watch when you are free is about acidic and alkaline. That's all from me now. This is about acid and alkaline. I hope you all can understand acidic and alkaline. Whatever that is about the 8.1.1 is talking about what is acidic and alkaline substances. 8.1.2 is talking about the properties of the acidic and alkaline. 8.1.3 is a make a generalization the substances to be tested in acidic, alkaline and neutral. That's all from me now. Okay, student. Take care. Bye-bye.